Luke 4, 9 through 12, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test except. Now, this is when Satan was tempting Jesus. And he took him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you. And on their hands, they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, it is said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. So we are not to, to put our Lord, the Lord our God, to the test. The exception being with tithes and offerings. Or Malachi chapter 3, God himself tells us to test him with our tithes and offerings. And see if he doesn't open the window of heaven and pour out a blessing, not blessings, a blessing on you that is bigger than you can contain. That blessing will not necessarily be $100, of, $100 bills falling out of the sky, but it will be the thing that your heart most desires. And you may not recognize it at first because it's the same thing you desired as a child. And the world has tried to take away that and t t tried to tell us what we want. And that's usually material. And usually what you most want as a child is not material. Okay, so pay your tithes and offerings. Test the Lord in this one thing you're allowed to do. See how he blesses you and you will be overwhelmed in a good way. You have to pay them even when it's not convenient, even when it's not easy, even when there's challenges, okay? Help my humble channel grow. Test the Lord. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. God bless.